Today, I'm showing you how to make your bed glow. This light turns on by itself in the evening and the morning and whenever it detects movement. So no more stubbing your toe while getting in bed. Let's get started. Alright, to make this project, you are going to need a LED strip. I use warm white for a pleasant glow. A microcontroller and a passive infrared sensor. A RTC module, a MOSFET and of course a power source. Let's start everything by prototyping. Hook up the motion sensors, real-time clock and a single LED as shown on the screen. The way the codon writing works is by the RTC communicating the time to the Arduino. If it's in the late evening or early morning, the lights turn on. If it's in the middle of the night, the lights fade on only if it detects motions from the peer sensor. The LEDs are then faded off again 5 minutes later. Perfect if you have to get up in the middle of the night. Finally, if the time is in the middle of the day, the lights will stay on until it's evening once again. The RTC has its own battery for timekeeping and the time is automatically set from your computer. After connecting everything to the Arduino, I uploaded the code and made sure it all worked with a single LED. If it does, that means we can make it work with hundreds. To control the LED strip, we need to use a MOSFET. This is a type of transistor and acts as a switch controlled by electricity. We'll be using our Arduino to send a signal to a MOSFET and the MOSFET then in turn connects the LED strip to a power source. I'm going to connect the Arduino and LED strip in parallel on a 500 milliamp power supply. So we need to determine the current draw of the Arduino to know how much power is left for the LED strip. This is measured by connecting a multimeter in DC current mode in series with the power running to the Arduino. I'm measuring 60 milliamps draw from the Arduino. The current draw will actually be slightly less when we replace the single LED with the MOSFET. This is because a MOSFET is switched by voltage and will theoretically not draw any current in doing so. Now if we do some math we find we can power 66 LEDs or 1.1 meters of LED strip with the 440 milliamps that's left when connecting the power source in parallel with the microcontroller. I wanted a slight margin so I used a 1 meter strip instead of 1.1 meters for my bet. Now on the breadboard I replaced a single LED with a MOSFET and a power source which powers both the LEDs and microcontroller. After making sure the code and circuit worked for this setup, I ripped everything out of the breadboard and soldered it together. To make the electronics more compact, I switched out the Arduino Uno with an Arduino Pro Mini. I chose this one for its size and its price. I wanted to solder everything together on a perf board to get more secure connections than from a regular breadboard. Now it's just a matter of packing everything together and placing it under your bed. Peel off the glue backing on the lead tape and stick them to the wooden frame. I chose to glue the Arduino on the underside of the bed with some hot glue. Then I bent a paper clip to hold the peer sensor. This was then fastened under the bed with a piece of duct tape. That's it guys, we're done. Just plug in the power supply and now you'll always wake up to a pleasant glow and you'll never have to worry about stubbing your toe in the dark ever again. As always, you will find a link to my code and detailed build instructions in the video description. If you like this project, check out some of my previous videos, hit that like and subscribe button now and leave a comment if you want to learn more about this project. Thank you.